Are you okay? Right, so this is the second vid of the second lesson. It says lesson two there, but I've, I've stuck the implication stuff in first. So we're not really on the second lesson now. Right then, let's have a look at this example. So it says prove that for all integers is divisible by 120. Right, okay. So let's try, so what does it say here? So 10 is divisible by 5, and <laughs> it's using 20. What, what random, that's 2020, how confused is that? Putting 21 with a 12 there. It looks like you just put the numbers the wrong way around and get it wrong. The idea is that I can break up a number and try to see if it's factors of it. Um, so this 120, I, I probably want to break down into some form of numbers that are multiples of each other. Ideally, prime numbers, so like a 2 times 3 is 6, uh, times 4, times 5, 20, 40, 120. Right, now if you look at these, this is, this is what this is trying to kind of get across really. If I've got two numbers that are next to each other, and the multiples of something else, it will be divisible by the product of the multiples. That's what it kind of means. Now, if you look at these numbers, these are four consecutive numbers. Right, so let's see if we can make this n to the 5 minus 5n cubed plus 4n into something with four consecutive bits together. So I'll take out the n first, and I've got n to the 4 minus 5n squared plus 4. Because you're good, you're going to spot that that's a disguised quadratic. And if you put 1 minus 5, 4 into poly, It'll give you, uh, well, it'll give you out a plus 2 and a plus 1, which means in terms of factors, it's a minus 2 and a minus 1 with something there. So this will be n, um, n squared minus 2, n squared minus, uh, is that right? Yeah, n squared minus 1. Now, these two now <laughs> are the difference of two squares. Uh, no, it's not. You made a mistake there. Is that right? right I'm just going to pause it. Hang on. You should never trust a completed pack. That's a four. So that's a four. So that's a 4, and now it's a difference of 2 squares. n minus 2, n plus 2, n minus 1, n plus 1. Now, should we upstairs and get my calculator there? Now, that don't really look very obvious, but if I kind of rearrange it into some form of numbery order, n minus 2, n minus 1, n, n plus 1, n plus 2, what I've got is five consecutive numbers there. Five consecutive numbers. So if I set n to be 3, what I get is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. I could set it to be anything I want. But what I'll have is, with any five numbers that are next to each other, one will be a factor of 2, one will be a factor of 3, one will be a, have a factor of 4, and one will have a factor of 5. Probably better say multiples, really. So, I've got five consecutive integers. All right. So, I'm going to put here. That's f of n, that, isn't it? So, I should really write down. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to write it out in the thing. It's quite a hardcore example, this one. You kind of see them with like 
two consecutive numbers and three consecutive numbers. Right, so as n to the 5 minus 5n cubed plus 4n is the product of five consecutive numbers consecutive numbers so one of them will be a multiple of five so one will be multiple of five one will be a multiple of four one multiple of four, one a multiple of three, or you can try it with any numbers you want, like the one, two, three, four, five, so you've got a multiple of five, a multiple of four, a multiple of three, a multiple of two, and a multiple of one, but you could use like a million, a million and one, a million and two, a million and three, a million and four, and all of them will have, will all be this, this kind of, um, this combination of multiples. So I want a multiple of what's so the five, four, three, and one, and multiple of two. There. Therefore, all of it is a multiple of five times four times three times two which equals 120, so we said that didn't we before, so, mm, so f of n is divisible by 120, that's a bit of an interesting one really, with an error in the pack as well, I'll have to tell you about that one, so it's a u try one for divisible by 6, so for divisible by 6 I'd expect a 2 and a 3, so I'm looking at maybe because of the three, three consecutive integers. Uh, so let's have a look at this one. Make sure you copy this one, because we've been a bit lazy on the um, questions for you. The U tries. Here we go, look. Three consecutive numbers. So if you set N to be 10, you'd have nine, 10, and 11. At least one of them is a multiple of two, and at least one of them is a multiple of three. Therefore, if you've got a multiple of two and a multiple of three, you must have a multiple of six. So therefore, it is divisible by six. Did you enjoy that? It's nice, isn't it? Right, there's another <laughs> example. I'm going to stop it and do another bit.